Okay, so hey guys, uh, this is the Civ right here, We're back with another tutorial. And in this tutorial, I'm just going to be uh, upgrading our level model. So, uh, because in the in the last one, uh, bringing models into Game Maker, where we added a level model, um, a bunch of people are saying that they didn't still quite get exactly how I got it into Game Maker. So this will be a little bit more detailed on that. Plus, I wasn't exactly that happy with the level model, so we're going to do a major update now. So we're going to have actually two levels or models here. It'll actually be just one uh, level, but what it's going to do is we're going to have a lower poly version or with less triangles. That'll be the model that you don't see, but that the collision detector will. So uh, you can... It's, it's 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 faster because if you have a really high triangled um, model then it really slows down when you try to add collision checking to it so you're gonna have a higher detailed model is the one you're gonna see so but first the base base model which is pretty basic is gonna be the one that we're doing collision checking with so just working out that so this program that we're using is one called AC3D and it's it's a it's pretty much the best on I found uh, for making models for the game for games in general just because it's so good at saving them as pretty much any format you want also uh, it's really good at making them a small triangle account you can even take a higher um, poly model and reduce it down to a really small size to be good for your set game so you can take even a higher geometry model from online and say and do that so I'm just adding kind of a room here with like ramps on the side and stuff so I'm speeding it up uh, not too much though it's just by yeah a little wise just so that we can get it so anyway the next program we're gonna be using is one made uh, in game maker you may have already uh, heard me use this one it's called GM model fix uh, it's amazing because you can load in the the uh, obj model file you can edit it around and then eventually you can save it as a d3d and then it just works really awesome so I'm making a little bounding box here for the model it's definitely not going to be in the final thing it's just to keep you inside the room so it'll look much better in the final thing so anyway here i'm saving it so you go into file export uh and then just save as obj and it's pretty simple this is an AC3D again. You don't have to use AC3D. You could use any other 3D program as long as you can get it into an OBJ format or .x or D3D, but that's not rare. So in here is in GM Model Fix. We just load it up. Now because Game Maker is a slightly different than most 3D programs, we got to do some modifications to it. So as you can see, it's very small. We have to uh, well first get rid of the texture and show the triangles, and then we're gonna uh, rotate it to because it's on its side right now also it's mirrored but that's okay because it's a it is a well I don't know symmetrical so just centered it rotated it and now I'm gonna make it huge so I'm gonna use this tool that enables me to stretch it on uh, Z height so I just choose 300 and then stretch the, to Z so this is a pretty good level model size I mean you can make it different for your own game but I just figured this would be a pretty good size for my own game so just gonna save that very simple and then uh, I'm gonna do that once again like I'm not gonna show you when I do it for the higher poly model just because it's the exact same thing so so anyway I'm now uh, doing the higher poly model now I'm speeding this one up even more than the other one just because uh, we don't really need to see this. It's not as important. It's just adding a bunch of detail. So after I add eh, a little bit more detail, then I uh, bring in a texture. Now I got like these four textures from Google. So just Google image search. Uh, you don't really need much more. I mean, you can make your own textures. I'm just not very good at that right now. So. Just, okay, so now I bring in the textures. I'm going to start UV mapping them. I just choose a surface and then start moving it around, choosing which part of the texture it's going to display. So it's it's fairly easy, um, especially with this program. It's, it's the easiest one I've found. So I'll just keep working on that. That's awesome. Uh, now another thing we're going to do also is most of the stuff we're going to do in Game Maker is 
we're going to add like a couple spheres around. It's going to be kind of like a space vortex kind of thing outside. You can have a couple windows out so you can see. You won't be able to go outside, but you will be able to see outside. It'll be cool. Um, so that'll be another texture that we bring into Game Maker later, also from Google Search. <laughs> I like that. So, yeah, just bringing all them textures in and UV mapping them. It's pretty much just doing the same thing over and over again. Now, I, I have added edited both models a little bit more since um, videoing it, just because they didn't quite work exactly. Uh, just the uh, collision model, it didn't have it had a couple differences that made it kind of weird, like a couple jut outs, so you could actually see inside the wall, which is kind of weird. But uh, fixed all that. Also, um, there's a, a a roof in the hole, a hole in the roof that uh, didn't add in this video, but did actually add it in the final thing. So I'm anyway, just going to add the wall here, one wall, just texture it, and then duplicate it for the other side. Not very hard. Um, most of this is just concepts, like you can uh, figure out the exact tools of said um, model or, or program, whatever, for, yeah. So I, I tried to add a weird kind of um, edge for this window. But I there was just too many triangles and it was getting too weird and hard. So I just I used this other method. I just extruded it, so that ended up working a lot better. So then I duplicated it for the other side. That worked really nicely. Just gonna add a roof here. And as I said again, I I added the window later, but for right now, that's all we have. So there we go. There's the model. Just gonna save it again and load it into Game Maker. So here we have the texture in Game Maker. Uh, just gonna load in that kind of plasma texture thing. It's just black and then blue. I don't even have to add any transparencies. It's I add that later. Here we are in our level model, still the same. Uh, I just need to change which object it loads for uh, the viewing model, and that's pretty much it. I'm already done there. So now we just add the vortex thing on the outside, which will be the two spheres. So uh, the variable rot is a rotation variable, so it's gonna be constantly uh, growing which is what we're going to use for rotating the model. Um, now D3D transform set identity is, is kind of like brackets for your set model. So I can add my rotations and then it will apply to the model drawn inside those kind of brackets. So also a uh, rad is just radius. So I can, I'm just going to set this to a really high number later and then uh, it'll just be really big circle outside your room. So now back from get texture, our space text, and then I'm gonna repeat the texture a lot and set it to a pretty high resolution. And then of course the other bracket. Now I'm just gonna copy the whole other thing because we're gonna do two different uh, circles and they're gonna be rotating in different ways. Because then it, uh, well, it looks a lot cooler, you'll see. So I just minus the rotation. Also I made it X instead of Y variable for the rotation. That way it's just rotating on a different axis. And then also here's the alpha so that we can actually see through the one circle into the other circle. So that it looks like there's two of them. So that's awesome. Also I'm making it a bit smaller so it'll be on the inside. But you see, you still won't be able to see that. It just helps the effect. So then we're just going to create these two variables, the radius and the rotation. And then we are actually quite done. That's all that's needed. So let's just play the game see how it looks. So here we are. This is a pretty cool looking space station thingy. And still everything's the same as before. It's pretty awesome. So yeah, 